Hello and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today we are going to show you how to make our gulab jamun. This recipe is so easy and simple to make that you don't have to head to the stores for buying one. So let's start making our homemade, fresh and very soft gulab jamun. So here I have one cup of powdered milk. Into this, I'm gonna add half teaspoon of baking powder, then add one tablespoon of flour and one fourth teaspoon of elaichi powder. Okay, then mix the dry ingredients as I'm doing it right here. After that, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of melted butter and one egg into the mixture. Okay, now combine all the wet ingredients and dry ingredients together by mixing it with this spatula. As you can see it here, to knead in order to make it a soft dough, I will use hands or you can use gloves for this kneading part. Okay, now it will be sticky uh, but don't worry, keep kneading or you can use few drops of melted butter that would help it to make a very smooth and shiny dough. So now I'm gonna smooth out this dough by rubbing some melted butter so that we can make shiny and smooth gulab jamun balls out of it. So make a log first and just then take a small portion of this dough and rub the melted butter over this small piece and make it into round and a small ball. Try to make it as smooth as you can for better results. Look how shiny and smooth it is looking. Yay! So that's how I made the first one. And I'm gonna do the same for the rest of the dough. Make the small balls. Make it as smooth as I can. And it will be nice looking gulab jamun. Okay, so I'm done making these. Okay, now I'm gonna make a sugar syrup in order to dip all the gulab jamuns into it. So first we're gonna start making the sugar syrup first. For that, I'm gonna have to take two cups of water and simply add one and one fourth cups of sugar, granulated sugar. Okay, let the sugar dissolve in the water on the medium heat and just stir it if you want. At this point, I'm gonna add six green cardamom elaichi. And now I'm gonna add half teaspoon of lemon juice into the sugar syrup to avoid crystallization. Okay, now I stir this mixture on medium heat with the desired consistency of this syrup. I'm gonna turn off its heat. And now it's all bubbles comes out. The syrup is getting thicker, so I'll check the consistency of it and then I will turn off its heat, let it cool down. Alright, now I'm going to move on to the frying part of these gulab jamuns. So in order to do that, take oil as much as these balls can dip into it and easily be frying on all the way on medium low heat. So now we are waiting on the changing its color as it's going to change its color all the way then we are going to take it out. Okay so this is a color I really want and what I'm going to do I'm going to take it out from the oil and directly put it in the syrup the sugar syrup that we made previously so I'm gonna dip it in and I'm gonna take all of those gulab jamun balls out from the oil and dip it into the syrup wow how nice and yummy it is looking
Okay, so cover the pot with the lid and let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. And after 15 to 20 minutes, um, look how amazing it is looking. And I'm gonna take it out and uh, put it in a bowl, uh, a serving bowl. You can put it in. Okay, so now pour all the sugar mixture or sugar syrup into the gulab jamun bowl to soak it in and so that it can dip into it and make it sweeter. To make it more presentable, you can add pistachio on top of it. This is my gulab jamun recipe and I hope you enjoy it. And these are very tasty and delicious. I hope you like it. Please like, comment, share and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Bye!